Hello again. This time we're going to be talking about uh, loops. Uh, specifically while loops and conditionals and if statements and um, all of that good stuff. We'll talk about for loops in the next go and um, maybe do whiles. We'll see. Um, first of all, just so you see, we're not starting out in 23 because there's a whole bunch of code ahead of it. It's my licensing stuff. Basically, I'm just saying it's under GPL version 2, and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, okay, we're going to include IO stream because we're going to be printing stuff and getting stuff uh, input and output from the screen. Um, uh, don't forget your use namespace, otherwise you're going to have to type a whole lot of STDs. Alright, so, to start off, we make a, a choice variable, set it equal to zero, initialize it to zero. Um, then we go and we open our while loop. Now, if you notice this action, we do while and then parentheses. Uh, and in this parentheses is where you put what are called conditionals. Now, this is anything that returns um, a true or a false. Um, so, in this case, uh, is it true or false that choice is not equal to negative one? Now, anytime you see this exclamation mark, or as programmers call it, a bang, um, it means not, whatever is after it. So, if we, we could also type this as not parentheses choice equal to, and it would mean the same thing. So, we're checking to make sure that choice is not equal to negative one, so not equal to. Um, <coughs> Now that's going to return true or false. Now if we had any function that returned true or false, we could use that too. Um, also, um, any function any function that returns anything really can be used, but you have to make sure um, it, it, it's, it gets complicated and we're not going to go into that. Now if you, if you want multiple conditionals, uh, then you can and or or them together. Um, if you want to and them together, make sure that, uh, you know, keep going while this and this are going, then you would use two ampersands like that. So say we wanted to say while um, it's less than 10. So this would go while it wasn't equal to negative 1 and it was less than 10. Um, there's also less than or equal to what that is, you just add an equal to at the end. You could also do greater than or equal to, or greater than. You can also do equal to. Now notice equal to has two equal signs. If you only use one, you're going to assign this variable um, that value, which is, will always return true. So no matter what, this statement right here is always true. Now if you're if you meant to do this, that can be very problematic. And that can be uh, that can become what's called a runtime bug. Uh, um, so you know it's gonna screw up your code. So watch out for that. And it's kind of a, a newbie um, bug uh, or error. But we all go through it, and it's just part of the learning process. Now, if you wanted to say um, this statement or this statement. Instead of putting the ampersands, you would you would put what's called the pipe character, which is that character. Uh, it's the shift of the slash right above the inner sign. It's called the pipe. Uh, so you put two of those, just like you would have put two of the ampersands, and that's an or. But we don't need any of that, so we don't need to that out. so uh, while this condition is true, uh, we're going to do everything in this code block. So we open up the code block, and first thing we do is we print out to the screen our menu and get um, the user's choice from them. So please select an option, number one, do this, number two, do that, number three, do nothing, number four, do this and that, and zero, do get out of here, or leave, or quit, or whatever you want to call it. I was just trying to be cute. Anyways. Um, so, if, um, this, this is how you do an if statement, if, and then 
parentheses and you have your conditionals in there just like we did for the while. And this time we're going to check to make sure or to see if choice is equal to zero. And if it is, we're going to break out of the while loop. It's going to just it's just like return except inside from inside of a loop or um, condition or uh, it, yeah um, a code block. Um, except you're you're not returning anything, so it's just breaking. Um, now, if this was, if we wanted to do more than one line of code, we would have to put a code block around this. Now, notice this isn't breaking out of this code block; it's just it's breaking out of the while loop. <coughs> but since we've only got one line of code, we don't have to put that. That's the only reason that we get to not put the brackets. Now, if there, if we had an else, we would do else, and then whatever code here. Um, Again, if it's more than one line, put it in brackets. If we needed to do else if something else, we would do it like that, and then again the code here. Uh, and then you could do an else after that. Um, but we're not in this case. Because our switch case is going to handle that for us. So, now on to switch cases. Now in a switch case, you started off by saying switch, and then parentheses, and the variable you want to use as a switch. Um, now, what's going to happen is, for each case, it's going you're going to give um, a case. For each case, uh, each case is what the variable could be equal to. So, for up here, it could be equal to one. It could be equal to two. It could be equal to three. It could be equal to four. We've already checked for zero, so we don't need to worry about that. So we need to have those cases. So one, four, two, three. Okay. Okay. So the choice is the variable that we're checking against each case. Now, you open up a code block, and for each case you do case, and then what it what um, it would be equal to. So if this was a string that we sent in, it would be like you know i or whatever. If it was a character, make sure you use the single quotation mark and then the character, like that. Notice it's w only one quotation mark, not two for each side. But we're using integers, so one. So in the case that we chose one, or this, uh, do this, we will print to the screen this and two lines, and then we will break out of the switch. Notice this is breaking out of this switch and not out of the wire. But there's nothing to do after the while and after the switch anyway. So, but just realize that conceptually, this right here is breaking out of the switch, not the while. Now, next, uh, notice that we are going to four and not two. It doesn't matter what ch what uh, order these cases are in, except that um, we are doing four, and since we don't have a break at the end of four, it's going to go right on into two. So since 4 was to do this and that, um, we just copy this line from this into 4, and then it will automatically go straight into case 2, which is do that. And it will print that to the screen as well, and then it'll break. Now for case 3, um, that was to do nothing, and so we tell the user that they're lazy. Again, my fatal attempt at humor and break. Now, this is the default case. Now, this is a special case. Um, this is what's going to happen if the integer that we get um, in... What, if This is what happens if none of the cases are met. So, if it's not 1, it's not 4, it's not 2, it's not 3, and not 0, um, this is what's going to happen. We're going to tell the user that they need to pick something from the list. Alright, so let's save, and compile, and build. Now these build options that I have here, um, they're left over from when I, I've been working on my, my game engine a lot, and um, you don't need those, but it's not hurting me to have them there, so <clears throat> just realize you don't have to worry about that stuff. So now we'll ex execute, bring it up here so you can see it. Um, please select an option, do this, do that, do nothing, do this and that, get out of here. So, we're first going to pick 4, so you can see that case. Notice it does do this and that. Um, 2, do that, 
does that just like you would think it would. Number one does this. Number four already did that. Number three um, does nothing. Lazy. Number zero gets out of it. Let's run it again. Now notice um, if I do five, it says pick from the list again. Seven again. Again. Yeah. So forty-three. Yeah. So there you go. That's it. See you next time.